she ended up telling me that the baby that was aborted wasn't mine. Uh, oh, you man. are immediately married within a lie already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the so the yeah. marriage was never the same after that, was it? No, it was. Uh, this is this is at the beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is right at the beginning. And so within that process, she probably should have kept that to herself. <laughs> and well, you know, uh, I'm glad she didn't. And so within that process, with that being known, it was just like, yo, with even in being, you know, the pregnancy, uh, she almost died within the pregnancy. So that was a hard time too. Right. It was a lot. You know, it was other times uh, she had gotten pregnant, other things, and it just got to a point. She had gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. While y'all were together? Yeah. yeah, And it wasn't you? Not with me. Ah, come (laughs) on, Cal. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. I stuck around. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, These were things that were being revealed. You know, she telling you this. No, no, no. How did you find? (laughs) How did you find this out? (laughs) I want to know how you found this out. You read a letter. You got through the phone. Yeah. Okay. All right, so how that one went, um, there was a thing where um, we weren't um, having sex anymore, and we weren't doing anything anymore. Just no, because- you weren't having sex. Clearly, she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, just because of we knew, I knew what was going on. Right. And uh, I was like, yo, what is even happening? You're not coming home. You're not doing all these different things. And y'all, what man, you're not coming home. Y'all, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then this was, you know, back then. Yeah. We praying for her now. It's all good. Yeah. But this is what the process of what I was going through. Oh, right? yeah. And so now as this is going on, um, there was a, a time. <laughs> get some more soda. <laughs> now I need something stronger than soda, Kelly. You're telling me that, right? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. I mean, you had right. one. Yeah. You aborted that, but that wasn't yours. She yeah. told you. You didn't know. Yeah. You had one of your own, and she... Ba- yeah, well, yeah, there was a there was Ooh. a situation uh, where there was a guy, you know, and um, I had a feeling, you know what I mean, that she was talking, you know it? talking to somebody. It was one of her friends that okay. used to come over, right? Mm. And, you know, I was working a lot, you know what I mean? So Dirty it was one of, those, one of those situations. And so uh, I was dropping off the kids, you know, and, you know, I uh, didn't go to work and, you know, how I go. And so one day I decided where I was like, yeah, I'm going to take the car and just kind of like go searching. Mm-hmm. Where she might be, because she don't be in, come home. And so uh, I got in the whip, went driving around, saw her whip, looked different, you know, and uh, I saw it, and I said at the hotel, I was like, yo, okay, this is a car at the hotel. I go to the lobby, you know what I mean, to go walk into the lobby. Uh, turns out, dude, just come walking down the lobby, about to go to the car, you know, my car, and then she was driving, you know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, okay, what's up? Take me upstairs. Take me, let's go to the elevator, let's go together. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh, okay, cool. You know what I mean? We go up, I'm not, we don't need to fight, let's go. Yeah. Because I already know what it is. Right. So we go up, of course, she's surprised, oh, you know, within the room. And, uh, you know, we walk in, you know, I walk in there and I'm just like, hey, okay, so this is what, this is what's going on. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? All right, and this is what you're doing? Okay, so, and I walk out, because I'm like, I'm not about to fight over no, she already made a decision. Yeah, you made your decision. Yeah, yeah. You already been, we'd have been through it. Now. Did she like come out you and let me, let me explain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, is yeah, that yeah, explain? Yeah, yeah, Off yeah. without explanation. Let me explain. Uh, I'll go to the car. Uh, after I went to the car, then there was this, I was like, yo, I need to go back. And uh, I went back because now I was like, well, I felt disrespected. So now I need to go do something. I do what? Back, so then I'm going back up there. Cops came. Everybody came up. <laughs> at that point, and I remember this cop told me, uh, he said, hey, yo, um, I seen this. this type of woman, this this situation, you need to get out of this situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You need to get out of this situation. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like a goofy, still stayed around. You know what I mean? We said we was trying to make it work for the kids. You know what I mean? Trying to make it work for the kids, uh, but it just wasn't working out. You know what I mean? Trying to make it work, and she ended up getting pregnant by it. Another guy. Now, how that situation happened was that I was at the hospital. Um, she had a sickle cell trait. Mm-hmm. So she ended up, um, uh, you know, I'm thinking it's that. Mm-hmm. We go in there and <laughs> the doctor comes in and says, yeah, so you lost the baby. And I was just like, hey, yo, what? You lost the, <laughs> lost the baby. And I'm like, oh, I know that's not mine. And so I uh, lost the baby and it just, and I'm like, okay, so she was pregnant at that time. And this was just like, what was going on? Do you know what I mean? Within, yeah, yeah. Within the relationship. That was, that was rough, But then bro. it's also doing movies, doing TV shows, doing all these things as this is going on, not really telling anybody anything. Right. I wasn't telling my parents, telling my family uh, what was going on. Right. You know, so now 
uh, all these situations are happening. And uh, I get to the point where I'm at, you know, 2004. I get a phone call and she's this, this guy, you know, that she wants to be with. And I was just like, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah y'all need to be together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> let's do this. And I just felt like at that point it needs to be a reset button mm -hmm. just because I looked at my parents and how beautiful their relationship was and how this relationship was not being that at all and how what I thought marriage would be wasn't that at all. And then even just the navigation of this industry as well and what was going on. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to hit an off button at that point. And I felt like that was the, the answer. Right. At the... Um, Sun Hotel in Canada uh, on the other side of a balcony. I tell people, um, you know, I heard something tell me, hey, yo, Kel, get into a room, lock the door, um, and get off this balcony. I know that was God now, but at that time, I, you know, I said it was a person, but I know it was God that told me to do that. Here's the book of Jude, verse 24. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy to the only wise power our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever so be it giving all praises all honor and all glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham yahweh kodash double honor to my teachers the apostles the elders and the bishops of great millstone Watch over our souls, shall a warm to the Yakim, will write that are sincere and serious, doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Do you all stay strong and stay mighty? So I'm the brother, the disciple, Koshab Ben Yamin, from the branch chain, Great Middlestone, Barbados. Um, yeah, okay, so you should know this actor here, Kyle Mitchell. He was on Shea Shea. And uh, he was um, talking about his ex-wife cheating and getting pregnant by multiple men. So this woman clearly was a whore. Let me get a precept there. <coughs> Let me get a precept. Um, there's him here. All right? There's him here. All right? Comedian. Actor, I'm gonna use a pastor too. Use a pastor, you know all these things better. What are we about to read here. Um, so let me get the preset here that I want, right? So this is uh, Amos chapter 7 and verse 17, and it reads. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. So, multiple things happening here. First one they say thy wife should be a harlot in the city. So all women are whores right now. That's why I mean you the difference between the ones that are doing it professionally and the ones that are doing it behind the husband's back. It's like the only difference is that the women that are doing it professionally, that's the decision they make, whether they fall on hard times, um, they can't find a man to support them. Or they're just doing it because the money good. And they ain't want to do that away. They want to see the other employment, and then you got the ones now that have a husband, have a family, but still going be behind the husband's back. Let me get a preset there. Still going behind the husband's back and and, and committing adultery, man. Romans seven, verse two. For the woman, let me start at one. Know ye not, brethren? For I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth. And woman also, because look at verse 2 For the woman which have a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth, thou shalt not commit adultery. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. Only way she can go and get another man is if her husband passes away. 
goes back into the spiritual realm. Verse 3, so that if what her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Is right? So this woman here clearly, clearly is an adulteress. And he forgave her so many times. No, 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 big man. Once and, and that's it. You know, there's a priest that says, um, um, he's in the Apocrypha. Um, how does it go, boy? Um, he's in the Apocrypha. I can't remember how exactly it goes, right? But this woman clearly, yeah, right. Um, come on, man. Here by another man. Um, here by another man. Um. That woman clearly was an adulteress, big man. Yeah, Sirach chapter 23 to what Yahweh Baha show me how we show Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 23, verse 22. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in the ear by another. For first she have disobeyed the law of the Mosai, so you see, so the law was also to the woman as well. And secondly, she have trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she have played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. She shall be brought out into the congregation and inquisition shall be made of her children. Her children shall not take root. And her branches shall bring forth no fruit. She shall leave her memory to be cursed, and her reproach shall not be blotted out. You see that? So this woman is going to be put to shame very soon. Soon, if it's happening now, it's going to be, it's going to happen soon, and it's going to be displayed, man. Right? So the wife should be a harlot in the city. That the first thing, the son shall fall by the sword. That we may gain, children gain, kill off in the streets, right? The land should be divided. That way you got Israel and, 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 and Esau and Ishmael fighting over that land, which that's our land. And we dying in a polluted land. We, wherever you are scattered, that's how we dying, big man. You see? Right? So the wife, so look, man, look, she bought in here, but look, this, look, come on, blam, boy. This, this, this was, this was, whoo. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let me get a precept here, boy. Um, woo. Lord of mercy, boy. Um, first Edwards 432. Oh, ye men, how can it be? But women should be strong, seeing they do thus so. so so because you gave your strength to to your to your woman, and you see the thing is, look boy, once you forgive a woman, <laughs> yo, you found out yo, yo yo she got pregnant by another man. She actually got conquered by another man. She opened her legs to another man. You forgive her, right? And she went and do it a second time and a third time, big man. Woo, Lord have mercy, boy. Oh, ye men, how can it be but women should be strong, seeing they do thus? So, because this woman let the bark off you, brother, you was too soft. You was too soft, big man. You see? Right? You know, we get rares from little boys coming up. Oh, you gotta love the woman. Treat her with respect. Yeah, you respect. You respect your peers. You respect people around you. You respect your woman. You respect. You know what I mean? 
is a beautiful trait to have. But for the time they do things like this, you gotta cut them off, brother. Like the woman, the woman, the woman, the woman. You forgive her the first thing she get pregnant. She gonna do it again. You forgive she again. She, you thought she had sick cell. She gonna get pregnant again. Even she she, Shannon Short. The man like what? Big man use a cut. I use a beard and terms, but look, man, be a minute, man. Hey yo, um, I seen this. this type of woman, this this situation. Yeah, you have one of your own, and you keep. Yeah, my man, the man had to drink that straight. Uh, I was like, yo, <laughs> look, hey, the man drink that shot straight. You can't. The man can't believe what he the hearing, big man. Cannot believe it. What is even happening? You're not coming home. You're not doing all these different things. Hey, yo, what man, you're not coming home, yo, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then this was, you know, back then. Yeah. We praying for it now. It's all good. Yeah. But this is what's the process of what I was going through. Oh, right? yeah. And so now as this is going on, um, there was a, a time getting get some more soda. <laughs> well, I need something stronger than soda. You're yeah. telling me there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. I mean, you had one. Yeah. You boarded that, but that wasn't yours. She yeah. told you. You didn't know. Yeah. You had one of your own, and you she... Ba yeah, well, yeah. Christ, boy. There, was a, there was a situation. God, uh, yeah, where boy. Hey, 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 big man. Oh, oh, it was other times. Uh, she had gotten pregnant, other things, and he just got to a point. She had gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all together? Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't you? Not with me. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> no, It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. You might want to leave me the fuck going on here, better. <laughs> Look, yo. He was Shannon Sharp one of you. This man's a cunt. Shannon Sharp one of this man's a cunt. Yeah, he right, man? Nah, brother. Nah, look. Look, what the Lord tell the woman? Let me get straight to the point here. No, what the Lord tell the woman? Let me, what the Lord tell the woman, man? Um, nah, boy. You a cunt, boy. Wait a minute, man. Go and sing no more, big man. This is St. John 8 and verse 11. Let me get a 10, right? St. John 8. Let me go up, sorry. I gotta go up. But you can get the understanding, right? Verse 4, right? No, no, oh shoot, boy. I gotta go up. I gotta go to the beginning. St. John 8 and 1. Yahweh Shai went unto the Mount of Olives. His name isn't Jesus neither, okay? It can't be Jesus. When he walked the earth, he told the Apostle Paul his name in the Hebrew tongue. All right? In 2024, man. Renaissance art, Renaissance uh, 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 period, which means Renaissance history, Renaissance name. They change everything, brother. I was a slut, boy. Okay, you see? Anyhow, and early in the morning, he came again into the temple, and all the people came under him. And he sat down and taught them, and the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, so the men find out where she she gained the, she gone to the hotel, boy. She gone to the hotel. You know what I mean? So like here a minute. Verse 4, they saw him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very out. So these men, these men catch this woman, boy. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what says though? Yeah, because you see, hey, hey, breaking the law back then was punishable with death, big man. Boom, one time, every waste a fucking time, big man. But yeah, how was Shai Kim? He brought that what? That grace, big man. He brought that grace. Believe in him, and you can be saved. He's delight. Right? This they said tempting him that he might have to accuse him. But Yahweh Shai took down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not because he knew the men were sinning too. So we can't condemn because we 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 um we have sinned and come short of the glory. So we can't condemn. We could only warn. We could only warn. We 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 repented. We you understand? Turn back to the Father. You see? Right? But we can't we can't condemn. We can't we can't go on stone. Or pronounce judgment. No, what we what we doing now is we telling you, look, hey, the Lord have mercy upon me. The Lord have mercy on you if you repent. So turn back before the doors of mercy close. You see? Right? That's the reason why your was shape is there, big man. So when they continue asking him, he lifted up 
himself I said unto them he that is without sin among you then him first cast a stone at her exactly is that it? and again he stood down and rolled on the ground and David heard it being convicted by their own conscience because they knew these, these men knew that they were wicked big man when he talked one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last, and Yahweh was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Yahweh had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? Listen to what the Lord said. There was she said first. She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh said unto her, Neither. Do I condemn thee? Go and sin no more. For how to go up on that one. So you see, go and sin no more. So this man here, brother. Hey. This woman here, big man. <coughs> boy, she's a real slut, big man, boy. Go hot blend and she took advantage of you. She took real advantage of you, big man, boy. Keep using your money. You see that team of women, right? I was gonna say that you weak. And you ain't standing for nothing. She will walk all over you, big man. She will walk all over you, brother. The scripture says in the Isaiah 46 and verse 8, Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, all you transgressors, be. King Solomon said, What? Look, oh Lord, boy, this, hey. Woo, but this is, this is, this, this was, this, I ain't no other, brother, boy. <laughs> Oh, it grew up backbone after this, brother. These women, look, they, look. <laughs> Ooh, God bless, boy, look. It's a lot of care, man. Uh, what's that? Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7. A verse, uh, I think it's shot, shot here. 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the most I shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found. See if the preacher counted one by one to find out the account. Which my soul seek seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. So yeah, boy, these, these, these women, big man, these ain't all women from this side, brother. You know what I mean? Real thing. Real thing, big man. She opened her quiver against every arrow, boy. That's in the book of Sirach. And she done married, yeah. You gotta get on the lot there, brother, boy. But you ain't playing a game, because you got a soft ass spirit, big man. You got a soft ass spirit, big man. You better stop with that, can't you? You may know me, I can't support with a big man. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. That's a rat 25. You think it is? Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Let me get one last preset, man. This what happened to you two, right? This what happened to you two, you say? Let me get this preset here, man. Let me get this preset here, man. Proverbs chapter 31 the words of Lemuel the words of King Lemuel the prophecy that his mother taught him who's King Lemuel brother the words of King Lemuel who's King Lemuel brother Strong's age 3927 Lemuel Lemuel. So this is Solomon again. Second entry. Lemuel. This is Solomon again, right? Lemuel. What my son, or what the son of my womb, or what the son of my vows, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. You see that? So yeah, boy. Many man drink a stream. <laughs> It might hit that shot one time, man. Strong as cut, man. Can't believe it, man. <laughs> man, can't believe what he did here, man. <laughs> might hit that straight. Ah! 
Hey, anyhow, man. Hey, time to wake up, man. Real thing. Real thing. Shalom. Put the Lord first, big man. Put the Lord first. Not the fucking woman, big man. Put the Lord first.